Hey guys, welcome back to Ark, where you join me on a rainy day in quite a heavenly part of the map. You know, it's nice and green, nothing's tried to eat me, yet at least. I, you know, I feel pretty safe, we've got some Brontos, some Trikes, those, are they called Gallimimus? I think they are. And yeah, it's, it's pretty good on this side of the map, and it's even better, that does remind me, that we started with some very nice armour, and a lot of levels, because for some reason we had the XP boost, but, on contrast... Over that side of the map is basically hell, where everything wants to kill you, and it just doesn't sound fun, although the d there are some very cool dinos over there, I must admit that we will have to get at some point. But for now, in the most part of this episode, we're going to spend our time exploring the safe part of the map. Starting with this over here, and then probably is, there's some sort of metal drum building over there, so we'll go over to there as well. Parasaur, sheep. You love to see it. And this armor, I, I do really like this armor. I don't know why we started with it. I, I guess it's just part of the game, part of the map, which is Genesis Part 2, if you didn't know. Yeah, what is this? I'm I'm guessing it's just going to be an XP boost part, isn't it? Oh, it's a mission list. Oh. Oh, so it's, it's basically the same as Genesis 1. Oh, hang on. World Effect Reward. Oh. Hatching some more... E that's that's really good. So do all of these give a different asteroid resource amount increase? So is that 36 hour like a duration? Is that what that is? I guess I guess that's the duration that it lasts for because that would be a bit overpowered if it lasts forever. But that's a really good. Oh, how did I do that? Oh my god, I am the Flash. I can break rocks! I just broke a rock while I'm running into one of you. Ah! Don't run away! I don't know what that was, but I don't like it. Ah, oh, this is insane. I love this armor. Oh, I hurt a stego. I've gotten a little bit distracted. I've, I've been having too much fun flying around with a suit, and, uh, well, I'm, qu I'm quite high up. But the good thing is, you don't take fall damage. Unless you do from, like, a thousand miles up, which would make sense. But I have to say, that view is pretty good. That's a that's a pretty nice view, but yeah, let's let's probably make for our next objective, which was that drum building in the center there, and let's go. Like, look at that. Who even needs a bird when you can fly higher than them? You just it's just necessary, and it's also just reminded me that over next to was it that pad over there? I think it was. There was like a little box, which I'm guessing was a xp booster so let's actually go and get that as well oh yeah these things as well that's that's a thought like at first i thought it was a um a thorny dragon but it's not it looks more like do you know what it looks like it looks like a platypus bear out of avatar the last airbender or at least it does from the front a little bit and it's clearly not aggressive i wonder how you tame them it's probably through knockout but the name maywing i kind of get the idea that it's almost like a flying squirrel well a flying platypus i guess but it sounds like a very cool tame. Probably not a tame we're going to get yet, but very cool. So let's go... Yeah, I've forgotten which way it was now. Is it this way? It might be this way. Let's just go this way anyway. Oh my lord, what is... What are you? That's like... A, it's like some sort of siren head thing. Hang on, let's go and have a look at this. Oh, there's another one. What are they? Are they aggressive? Well, they're saying that even if they are aggressive, unless they can, like, knock out the suit's ab ability to fly, it doesn't really matter, does it? Although, again, on that note, I've been, I've been having to think, and the only reason I can think that you need this suit to start with is if you go to the other side of the map. So how difficult is the other side of the map if you need this suit with, like, crazy speed and flight and stuff to survive? It must be pretty terrifying. A text rider. Oh, what's that say? Hang on. Use mutagel in last slot to initiate hacking. Required mutagel. Zero out of four. So mute mutagel. Is that the sort of stuff you get from? Ah, uh, what are they, like jellyfish and stuff? Or is that something else? I I don't know. But it, it sounds like a late game thing. But here we are. I wonder. Is there anything on this, or is it just like a, a structure? I wonder if the suit works in water. D can I swim super fast? No, I can't, but I can still use the jets. So, it's just... It, this is such an overpowered suit, isn't it? Oh my, no, it does help you swim really fast. But you have to actually click as if you were running rather than... Because the button to do this, like, super fast flying thing is control. 
but if you just hold shift as if you are running normally, you do swim really fast. Like this suit is just overpowered, you know, it's just so good. Also, I don't know if I mentioned, but that is just a random structure. I was going to say, whilst we're here, we might as well go for that loot drop. But, um, there are, what's that, three Allosauruses right next to it? Although they do look stuck, so maybe we just go for it anyway. And I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Oh, well, obviously dying, but... Yeah, they, they're they stuck. Can I open it? Double check, yeah, they're, def they're definitely stuck. So we've got a flamethrower, <laughs> some ghillie leggings, and a gas, I guess gas bags are in it, and some propellant. We might as well take that. Does the flamethrower have anything in it? No, it doesn't. It'd be cool if it did. Say hello. There we go. Get some hexagon points. Oh, it's, it's out. It's out. Run away. What's that? Oh, isn't that... Oh, I've seen those. They're very... I'm not going to go near it because it will kill us. But they're, they're, aren't they like car caratchadons or something like that? They're, they're very cool dinosaurs. And I do want to tame one at some point, but not yet. I think this is probably quite a good area to build a base. It's pretty flat. It's... I mean, it is in the more dangerous area because I think over there is more safe and over here is a bit more dangerous. But it's not... Okay, there's two, there's two raptors over there, but that's only two raptors. Like, what, what, what is two raptors? I mean, although I was going to say with this armor, but I did realize this armor set is only equivalent to hide, so it's not that good, but it's obviously got a lot more benefits than hide does. Come on, I just want to go forward a little bit. There we go. But yeah, I think this will be a perfect place to build. It's pretty centralized on this side of the map, so it's pretty good. So we'll we'll probably put a little bit something here for now, like literally just a platform and maybe some chests just to store some things because we did get another supply drop and got 280 element dust, which is pretty useful. Also, I don't know how, but we're level 23. I've, I've no idea because for the most part, all I've been doing is just flying around like Superman and just having a bit of fun. But we're somehow level 23, and actually, you know, technically level 24, because we do have another level. If I could... There we go. What do we need? Let's put... I, I don't even know if movement speeds affect the uh, suit, but... No, actually, we'll go... We'll, we'll go... We'll go wait, actually. I think we'll go wait. Why not? Wait's always helpful. Level 24, what, what can we get now? Some stone stuff. Also, whilst I'm on the screen, we did unlock the Maywing saddle, so... We might go for it, because we did also get trank, trank arrows, so it's it's entirely possible. We might go for the Maywing. Okay, so a few things have been done. We have already somehow managed to get to level 32. I've no idea how, because I've literally just been running around doing nothing. Um, so we've got ourselves some metal tools and a crossbow. We have also, if we jump down here, tamed ourselves a Stego, because why not? I, I just thought a Stego was a good first tame, as always, so... Level, what is it, 90-something? 90 97. Another level, give you some health. So we've got a stego, we've got some metal tools. I've also tested two things. One, the way to get to the other side of the map is down there in that little... In that little Star Wars trench thing. You go down there and in through like a door and it takes you to the side of the map. At least I think it does. And the other thing is whilst I was there, I kind of died. So... What I found out was, you actually respawn back in with a new set of armour. And to prove that, if we go back up here, I've actually got the other set in a chest. So, what that means is, we can go to the other side of the map, and I don't have to worry about losing the armour. Which is what we're going to do to wrap the video up. We're going to go to the other side, and do a little explore. I don't know how much of an explore, but we're going to go there, and see what we can find, pretty much. That's the wrong button. Okay, so with a bit of luck, we'll be able to go through this barrier and fly to the next one. And we're in. We are technically on the other side of the map. We're technically now in hell, pretty much. So, let's see what awaits. It's also, I've just discovered you can kind of strafe left and right with this when you're running at, like, super speed. You can still kind of move. You just can't look around. And so it begins. The first thing we find are those... I can't remember what they're called, but those things... Some patchy rhinos, spiders, love the sea spiders, a bronto. Brontos are alright. They like brontos. Alright, so far it's not too bad. It's 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 looking pretty decent actually. 
Is it doesn't look as scary as I thought it would either. I thought it would be like a terrifying place, but it actually looks quite nice. Wait, is that... Is that a velo? I can't tell if that's a velo or something new. That's a... It's definitely a velosaur, isn't it? Yeah, it definitely is. Okay, we should probably stay away from that because that will probably shred our armor to bits and then it will kill us. Okay, if we ever need a spino, I know where to go. There's... Hang on a second. Is that another one? No, it's a patchy rhino. So there's one, two, three, four, five... And then if we fly down this way a little bit, there's six, there's seven, there's eight, there's nine over there, there's ten, there's eleven, twelve, thirteen. How many spinos do you need in one lake? I don't understand that. All the saying that, it's really, it's, this, it doesn't seem that, I was just about to say it doesn't seem that dangerous, but that, that terrified me. That, I think that was a mantis. That abs- why did it have to be there? Yeah, it was a mantis. Okay, but as long as you don't fly into mantis, it's not that- What are you? Are they those new- I think they're the shadow main things, aren't they? Let's go and have a look at these. I know, I know it's not exactly smart, but they are currently asleep, so as long as we don't wake them up, we're okay. We woke them up. Is it coming for me? Oh no, maybe we didn't wake them up. Maybe it was the other thing. Yeah, it might be the pterodon. It was this as well. Hello. Let me fly. Run. Run for your lives. Cool thing about those is they can go invisible, I think. Like, as in, like, completely invisible. Not like the rock drake where you can still kind of see the outline. It's, it, they are literally invisible completely. The only thing I think you can see is their footprints. Yeah, they're very... Very cool looking things though, aren't they? I kind of wanted a closer look. Maybe it's actually, I should have brought a spyglass thinking about it, shouldn't I? That would have helped a lot. Yeah, I can't wait to tame one of those. They look so cool, but you can't get me from up there. Up, up there? Down there. Is it just me? Or does that rock there look like a dead Molotops? Or, or is it a dead Molotops? Maybe it isn't. No, it's definitely a rock. I swear it's a rock. It's got a, what? What was that? Yeah, it's a, that's a rock. It definitely did look like a mall of tops from that angle, didn't it? It wasn't just me. It can't have just been me. Oh, I thought it was. I was going to say it must be a rock elemental. I literally just watched it fall from the mountain. Wait, don't die. Ow. I said don't die. That, that hurt. Okay. But if my theory was correct, let's just respawn back here because I was going to go up to the north. We just did the south. I was going to go and see what's up here. Yep. We've still got the armor. Perfect. That's really good, you know. And honestly, there's a spino there. Let's go up. Because I, I was going to look at the arm quickly because I noticed it says 0%. And I kind of want to assume... That zero percent, considering we can still use the flying and the super speed thing, I'm guessing that has something to do with how much armor it gives you. Like that's the only thing I can think. So this is zero percent, and it's still it's pretty decent armor. I mean, I say it's decent. It's only hide, but to start with, it's really good. And I wonder how. I assume it's either. A, no, it's probably not polymer. It's probably um the elemental dust stuff, isn't it? That's how you charge it. I'm guessing. Anyway, which direction is it? It's this way. Um, is that plant? It is, isn't it? It, it, it definitely, you see, I want to see what's going to happen, but I just don't at the same time. Oh, hang on. That's what's going to happen. So the plants are aggressive. Okay. That is a brilliant thing to know. Is it just those plants? Or is it all plants? I, I guess it's not all plants because I still haven't died to a plant yet. So that's good to know. Okay, so I think we're going to wrap it up here. I've done quite a lot of exploring, both of good side and apparently bad side. But I really think the wiki, like, overhyped how dangerous it is. Because even without the armor, I don't think we would have really had too many problems. Probably would have still died a couple of times, but it's, it's not that bad. It really isn't. Like, when I first came here, I was expecting it to be really dark and gloomy. Kind of like on 
avarition where you go into the... You know, that place where the things spawn out of the ground. I've completely forgotten the name. But I was expecting it to be like that. But it's just not. It's actually really nice. Like, and it looks really good at night as well. Like, really, really good. So, I don't know what they're on about. But anyway, on that, I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.